Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. All right. So I have not gone live in a really long time. So this may be a little wonky, but um, I'm going to give it a few minutes. I've logged in just a few minutes early so I could um, say hi to some of you guys. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Broke Girl Aesthetic. Good morning, Susan, Susan J, and Susan Haley, and Kelly. How's everyone doing this morning? I hope you guys are good. I'm excited. I have not done a live event in a long time. I started doing lives when the pandemic first started, and I would just do like Q&A on here, and then uh, we started doing the Chit Chat Show. So if you're not familiar with the Chit Chat Show, hi, Lefty Crafty. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Adele. Gosh, there's so many of you guys. Denise, Angie, WBD, Bobby, Val, Sabrina, Susan, Shelly. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm excited about this haul. It was, uh, it was just a good week. Like, I don't really even know how else to describe it. It just happened to be a really good week at Dollar Tree. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody that's just uh, joining. Uh, Faithful, Creative, Quirky. I love that name. Good morning. And Allie and Amy and Diane. I'm trying not to forget anybody. La Shout Bote, good morning. I haven't chatted with you in a while. Uh, the official craft nerd, very cool. Hi, everyone. Mug Life, good morning. You guys, I'm so excited. There's so many of you guys on here. This is crazy. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Sue. Hi, Catherine. Um, Carol, Shannon. All right. Um, Let's just jump into this because you know me. I'm going to wander. I'm going to chat. I'm going to ramble. I'm going to try and go back and forth with the comments. So, hi, Kat. Tell your four year old son I said hello. Tell me what his name is and I'll give him a shout out right now. But um, I am uh, I'm excited to do this. You know, I haven't gone live like this in a while. And uh, I have a big empty box next to me that I can pick up stuff. And I literally have. So, you know, when you go to the Dollar Tree and they give you like, like the big giant gray bag. Well, the big, the big giant gray bag is already put, getting holes poked in it. And then I have this and then I have one, two, three, four, four more bags below. So we are just going to be a little messy. We're going to go one bag at a time. Nothing is grouped together, so um, we'll go from there. And um, I will say before we start this, my my Dollar Tree is actually really, really good. So I'm, I'm very lucky. And I know that there's a lot of you that don't have Dollar Trees like this around where you're from. And, you know, unfortunately, there's, there's nothing I could do about that. And there's nothing that Dollar Tree could really do about it because – I guess from what I understand, the way Dollar Tree kind of does their inventory is they will buy a ton of stuff and then they ship it out to as many stores as they can get. So I will give you a tip. I'll, get, I'll try to give you several tips as we're doing this too. And uh, the first thing I will say is don't go to the same Dollar Tree all the time. You'll never find everything that you want. Uh, this is a mix of two different stores. I have three stores within like a five to 15 minute radius from my house. The one that is the farthest away is actually the one that's better. That's the one that's the 15 minute away. Um, there's one that is literally within five minutes of my house. It is super, super small. They don't even have a frozen food section or anything like that. And um, I actually find the most random stuff there. And then there's another Dollar Tree, which is kind of the, the a mix between the two, honestly. So tip number one, definitely check out multiple Dollar Trees. And uh, I haven't found any formula on like whether the, you know, the ones in the nicer neighborhood versus the not so nice. They, they, they're all different. They're all different. And um, another tip, tip number two, and then we'll get into the first bag. If uh, so, his name is Benji. Hi, Benji. Um, so if um, you are a regular at your Dollar Tree, get to know the employees, get to know the manager you know, compliment them. Don't, don't tell them you're there for a channel and you do this, do that. Just, just chat with them. And then as things come up and conversations happen, 
mention that you have a channel. They're not allowed to hold anything for you. My stores never hold anything for me, but I do know kind of when they get their trucks in. And sometimes that's a good indication of when you might be able to find something too. Like mine, my trucks come in on a Friday at my main store. And then usually by Sunday, Monday, they've got everything pretty much stocked out on the floor. That's the newer stuff anyway. So just some food for thought. It's not, um, it's not a perfect science by any means. I'm going to move my keyboard so I don't disconnect this. Okay, let's jump into this. Um, so this first bag has a mix. And of course, it's something that's stuck. Um, um, some Easter stuff. And, you know, we've all seen these, right? You've all seen these carrots. And the, at, at least in my store, there are a ton of these carrots. And I, I bought quite a few packages of these because I have a wreath idea that I want to do with a, with a bunch of these carrots. I think I bought like eight packages. And um, yeah, I think I got eight packages. Uh, maybe, maybe it's nine. <laughs> but uh, so I, I grabbed these, first of all, because these are for the wreath idea that I'm going to do. And then put those in my box. And then I saw these and I put all those back. And I grabbed a whole bunch of these and I was like, no, these are going to be too big. But check these out. Have you guys seen these yet at your store? I freaking love these. And um, they're they're like picks. It's called a carrot pick. And uh, I will try and remember also to flip over and give you guys that UPC code. That way you might be able to find them. I don't know if that works or helps or not. But um so they had this, and I loved these so much. And uh, I have no clue what I'm going to do with them, but I loved them, and so I got them. So that's the other thing I grabbed. Um, I have a shopping haul that is on my um, on my channel right now where I went to a store called Pop Shelf. And I have an idea with something that I bought at Pop Shelf and with this over-the-door hanger. And uh, so I bought this one. And um, it is black, and I really, really like it. These work really well in my house. I have a 100-year-old house, and all my doors are the wood, original doors with crystal knobs. They're gorgeous, and these are low enough profile that they actually work really well. So I have an idea with these, um, with something I bought at Pop Shelf. I'm not going to give any spoilers. So um, I have a couple variations of those in here. The other thing that I found... And I grabbed, I see them right here. So I'm going to try and grab them all at one time. Um, let's see. They are starting to get some spring stuff in. And um, they have the lemon packages. They have like the lemon, uh, yeah, the plastic lemon packages. So I bought like four of those. Maybe it was five. Okay, I bought five. And uh, they also had the limes. And the reason why I bought four of these is because I have a, a apothecary, apocryphy, I don't know how you say it, um, jar in the kitchen that's just clear glass. And I want to fill these up with that. So I think it'd be great for springtime. And uh, I bought these. And uh, Jenna, you're asking about tomato cages. And yes, they still do. Mine do, because I've got one down there. So stop peeking, Jenna. Stop peeking. Stop peeking in my in my stash here. Um, I'm trying to read comments as we go along. So, hi, is it is it is it Elvira or Elvira? Uh, thank you. I'm glad that you're brand new to the channel. Welcome, welcome. And um, uh, Granny Beck, don't fix that mop head. Just just watch this for a little while. So they have limes also in addition to the lemons. If you're interested in um, those, all right. So that's that bag. Um, and some of the stuff fell out onto the floor already. And then this is another over-the-door hanger, again, for that idea that I have from uh, Pop Shelf. And uh, it's just a kind of a twofer version. I wish they had this one in black, but I'm going to spray paint it in black. And um, it will look great when it's spray painted. And then, again, if my Pop Shelf combo idea works for this, then it will be a good one for me. Um, so we'll get that bag out of the way. Um... And I am going to try and read comments while we're going along without dropping everything out of these bags. Literally, stuff is falling all over the floor, which means you're going to see my bald spot. And you're going to see um, <laughs> it's a poth a carry. Yes, I am in the South. I am a proud Southerner. I'm not from the South, though. I'm actually from New York. So 
Um, hey, Jackie Burns, how are you? Um, all right, so this is another thing I found. Um, this uh, or the door, my, my store seems to have these pretty regularly. Again, this is uh, a twofold project. It's either going to be for the pop shelf kind of hybrid combo I want to do, or um, this is just going to be for hanging some ropes. Um, I did make a candle holder out of this one time, though, on one of my old videos. And I took it and actually bent it and turned it into a circle and put a big glass bowl on top of it. And these were the feet. And uh, I put floating candles in it. So that you can do actual DIY projects with this, too. So, oh, you guys, my mommy is on. Lola Miles. That is my mom. So please say hi to her and uh, tell, her, tell her all the good stuff about me. And um, let's see what else, what else. This is just a manicure set. I've, I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree. I'm sure they carry them regularly. Um, and that's just because I need it. So I bought that. And then this was something I saw on somebody's channel. Um, I think it might have been Mug Life. I think it was on your channel, actually. But um, this was uh, something I had not seen before. It's this metal kind of welcome sign. Um, it does say welcome. Maybe you can see it now. <laughs> it says welcome. It's got this great hanger on the back of it. And uh, what I love about this too is that you can do a lot of really cool things. You know, I bought some wisteria branches not too long ago that uh, hang. And I was thinking you could even wrap those around here, maybe do like a little burlap bow. And that's something really, really cute for the front door. So hi, Annie. Hi, let me see, Kelly Tucci, Patricia, Linda, I'm trying to catch up with everybody, Val. And um, this was something that I thought was uh, just super sweet and, and very, very cool. And I think you can do a lot of stuff with this too. I even think, and uh, where is it? There it is. All right, I'm leaving. I thought that you could even, maybe not this big of a form, by the way, I did find the 18 inch wreath form. Um, it might be too big for the carrots, uh, but uh, this 18 inch wreath form is massive. But I even thought if you got the smaller one, maybe you could wire it in between, kind of like that, and then just fill this sucker up with, you know, flowers or uh, ribbon or whatever. And I think that could really be a beautiful combination of a project together. Uh, maybe spray paint it all the same color if you wanted to. I think that there's some really cool options that you could do. Maybe not with the 18 inch, but maybe with the 14 inch for sure. So um, that was it. And then um, I did find a tomato cage. The, um, the tag fell off in one of the bags. But um, I uh, have a DIY idea for this coming up. And I'm just going to be using the kind of the stick part. So um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, let's see, let me see, let me see. I'm trying to read comments as well. That way this isn't so one-sided. So everybody's saying hi to my mommy. Thank you so much. Um, Linda Russell, have you been to Pop Shelf more than once? Nope, I've only been once. Uh, I'm trying I'm trying to hold back. I am i don't really need a whole lot of stuff right now. And I'm trying to hold back. Um, oh, by the way, too, I need to give a shout out to Megan from Blue Guns and Roses. If you guys are not following Megan from Blue Guns and Roses, I would assume you guys are. Um, definitely check her channel out. She suggested that I do this and do it live. So uh, thank you, Megan, for that. Um, Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap did a uh, video recently, and she was sharing her love of these glasses. And I have not, they, they really haven't been on my, my radar. So I um, grabbed some of these because she uses them as her wine glass. And uh, I used it last night for, this is the one from last night. <laughs> I used uh, it for whiskey as well and for a cocktail and they're, they're nice and sturdy. So I, and they fit in the dishwasher. My current wine glasses do not fit in the dishwasher. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy, um, like I bought four of them, but I think I'm going to end up buying like probably six or eight of them because they're so versatile. Um, sorry for all the noise. I'm opening bags. All right. You guys follow Liz Fenwick DIY. I think that's her channel name. She did a very cool uh, technique with these vases. I did some where I spray painted them with terracotta. And then she did some that were spray painted black. And they were gorgeous. They were absolutely amazing. And then I saw another creator, and I wish I could remember who 
didn't. But if you take nail polish remover, you can actually remove these blue squares or these blue circles, circles, duh. And um, she removed all these. Then she taped off this part down below and kept that white. And then up here, she spray painted this, or I'm sorry, she used chalk paint, I think. And she spray, or she chalk painted it white. And um, and then she used brown antiquing wax and it looked like wood. So it looked like wood and then white and they were gorgeous. So I think I wanna do something like that and just have this as a little accent base. I don't know if I'll do it on my channel because they've already done those and I did the terracotta version of that. But just a heads up, if you use nail polish remover and I, I don't know if it's acetone versus non-acetone, but it'll take that off. So something to uh, consider. Let me put these down carefully. Ooh, so much for careful. And um, get started on the next bag. Um, everything is falling out. Sorry, everything <laughs> fell out when I tried to take my picture. Okay, um, this is actually a gift for Mug Life. And uh, I hauled these earlier. Oh, you're right, Hope. It was Jazz. It was DIY by Jazz. And she is amazing. Um, she's probably one of my favorites as well. Like She has some great, great, great projects that she does. Um, let me see. Uh, Mug Life, you're using acetone. Okay, then then it probably is acetone. And then she's so crafty. Yeah, I think she did the wood thing on those vases as well. So it was probably something very, very, very similar. Um, they've, they've got great aesthetics. I love She's So Crafty as well. Um, in fact, I would love to have her on the Chit Chat Show. If you guys are not familiar with the Crafty or the Chit Chat Show, um, I do it every other week on Friday nights at 7 p.m. It's on Zoom, and then I record it and post it on YouTube a couple days later. So keep watching for those. Subscribe to me on Instagram and YouTube, and I'll post when future guests are coming up. But the Mug Life. Um, she had, or I did a haul of some really cool socks that were Star Trek socks. And Mug Life commented on them and wanted them. So I was able to pick you up some. So uh, the William Shatner Star Trek socks and then the Captain Picard. Um, I just, uh, if you haven't already, send me your address and I will send these out to you. I'm just going to put them in an envelope. I think they'll be fine. And uh, they will get to you soon. I think it was Mug Life. I could be wrong on that. Okay. These were super random, y'all. And I was shocked that they were available now. I thought that they would be um, Christmas because they definitely have a Christmas feel. But if you kind of like that blingy, sparkly stuff kind of all year long, which I don't really mind, um, then these are great. So this is decorative vase filler. But can you see all the silver and like glitter and tones that are in there? So the, this like pine and there's little tiny pine cones and then there's like little silver pieces of florals. And um, honestly, I grabbed them and even if I don't use them for a project right away, then I'm just gonna save them for Christmas because they're, they're great. And uh, I think that they would look really amazing in those glass uh, Dollar Tree vases and put some of this down and just put a candle on top. So again, super cool. Um, somebody's saying about my sock drawer. Uh, hi, Jackie. Um, I'm glad you're having fun. Let me see, where did that go? Crafts by Caitlin. I love Crafts by Caitlin as well, Charlotte. Um, she is incredible. Um, your sock drawer must be amazing giving all the socks you buy. Faithful, creative, quirky, if you only knew. I was very lucky, very fortunate to inherit my great grandmother's dresser and it is over 100 years old and um, it has really deep drawers in it like deep deep drawers and uh, the first drawer is like pretty much socks there's socks in there that I bought that my mom buys socks she helps me and um, there are socks in there that I haven't even opened yet but um, I love socks so anyway um, all right this was a new sign I think I bought two of these so you may see another one pop up very soon but um, check out that. Life begins with coffee. And what's cool about it is 
see so this this metal here like this is like a i don't know if you can see it or not but it's like a raised metal and then this is also metal but it's not solid metal there's foam actually behind it you can see me kind of lifting it up there and um so that could easily come off and what i thought about this is it's it's like wood or you know it's like a composite of wood of some kind so like it's super cute as is, but if you wanted to use these to DIY, I made a table with a whole bunch of these. I made a side table for my living room. And um, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great sign. And they had different sayings as well. I just kind of liked this and I love this treatment right here. I might like get rid of this and make like, a, I think it was Mug Life actually. You made a really cool like wall kind of hanging with some baskets. And um, some, I think they were like some uh, Dollar Tree um, wood dowels. And I may end up trying to do something. I told you I might try and make a, a different version of that. So I thought it was cute. So there's that one. And then, um, gosh, anytime you see, I have more of these, but anytime you see these copper LED lights or the silver LED lights, buy them. Because they're really hard to find during the Christmas season. And... Um, these I am in love with. They make just the like the littlest touch it can make a big difference. Like I would take these and twine them up in this, tuck that little battery pack down below. It's so easy to do a lot of really cool projects with these. So I think I've got like, I think I grabbed two of those. Um, a chipper brush, chip brush set. This is something that I also grabbed at my Dollar Tree. These are really cool because they have, um, they're just great brushes and they're, you know, they're dollars, two for a dollar and they're, they're pretty easy. If you want to put like a wood grain on something when you're doing a project, especially if you're using antiquing wax, this is a great way to do that because these brushes will add some, some like lines into that antiquing wax and it kind of gives you like a, a wood grain effect. And uh, I love this. Hey, Susan, I'm glad you found the channel. Thank you so much. Um, Susan, I am in Atlanta. My parents live in South Carolina, and I see you are a proud North Carolinian. So very, very cool. Uh, Susan Ackerman, happy Saturday to you too. Um, I am sorry that people's Dollar Trees are so barren. I know it sucks, but I'm telling you, try to go to one that's outside of your normal area, and uh, you'll, be, you'll be amazed. They have a lot of really cool crosses at my store, and this one's got a little easel back. And uh, I just thought it was really sweet. Like, I love the cork heart. Uh, I'm definitely probably going to DIY this. And um, even if this gets destroyed, which it probably will coming off of there, you could take an, an easy Dollar Tree cork and recreate that and make that very, very easily. Um, Kat, no problem. I understand if you have to leave. I, I appreciate you checking in, though. Um so there's that. And they had this in probably five or six different designs. So that's something that was there. Um, this was something that Sarah Jane shared on her channel and I really liked it. It's a tempered glass screen protector. Otis, Otis is on his cat tower, which is like right there. Otis, I'm live, buddy. Stop making all the noise. Stop making all the noise. <laughs> he may pop over and say hi, or he's probably just gonna go back and start scratching. But, um, the Polaroid tempered glass cover. Uh, this is something that Sarah Jane actually shared on her latest Dollar Tree haul. And uh, these retail for more than a dollar if you look at these on Amazon or other places. And uh, I just got a brand new iPhone 12. So I need to protect it. And uh, that is um, something that was definitely cool. It's something I grabbed. Okay, I'm trying to not ramble too much. These were super random. I don't know why I bought them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Um, also, I do have my receipt somewhere in here and you guys know that I love Fetch Rewards. If you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, it's an app, you download it on your phone and you take a picture of your receipts. When you take a picture of your, your receipt and you have a qualifying purchase, you get points. And then you can redeem those points for gift cards. Amazon gift cards, movie theater gift cards, restaurant gift cards, tons of different retailers. You get a lot of really cool options, magazines even. And uh, I'll put, after I post this on YouTube, I'll put a link 
down in the description box. So you guys have a referral code where you can download Fetch. And uh, if you scan your very first receipt with my code and you have a qualifying receipt and it's literally any kind of receipt they will accept, but certain receipts give you more points than others. But when you scan your first kind of qualified receipt, they'll give you 2000 points that you can put towards redemption of your gift card. So that's my plug. And now we're going to go into what I found. Oh, speaking of receipt, how is that for timing? Oh, I didn't know where it was. Um, like what, honestly, what the heck am I going to do with these things? Like what the heck? But, um, I live in a house. I have a driveway. Sometimes people get a little crazy with the parking situation. You know, maybe I can uh, put these in your uh, in the driveway to prevent people from blocking my driveway. I don't know. Maybe I can make a table out of them or something. But uh, I kind of thought they were fun and random. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I can put them in the yard and play kickball or something. I don't know. But, um, and yes, uh, somebody just commented, I didn't see who it was, about the um, uh, fetch rewards. You do have to scan a receipt that's within 14 days of the present day. So make sure you're not trying to scan like old receipts. And um, that will definitely give you points. Dollar Tree, uh, grocery stores, those are kind of the primary places that work really, really well on fetch rewards because you'll actually get points for like, buying orange juice or Coca-Cola products or potato chips. But then uh, if you like, I scanned a gas station receipt, I scanned a McDonald's receipt and you get like 20 points, 25 points, but it definitely adds up. So don't, don't, uh, don't hate it too much. All right. I have a really big, big bag, but we're going to wait on those. Um, and then I have like two other smaller bags. So I found this wreath form. I had not seen this one before. And uh, yes, you can also do online shopping. Thank you so much. Les Chats Beauté. I appreciate that. And uh, so I love this because it says love and it scrolls and then it's got the kind of the infinity symbol here. But what I thought could be really cool with it too is if you took this and you just wire cut this off, and then you'd have a great ribbon. So you could do a breast cancer awareness ribbon. You could do an AIDS ribbon. You could do, you know, there's all different colors. I think blue is autism awareness. Like you can do a lot of different things with that by, by just chopping it right there. Or of course, you could just keep it like this. Um, Kelly Clark, the name is uh, Fetch Rewards. And I will have a link in the description box below. As a matter of fact, I may try and... Uh, do this while we're chatting here. If my computer will cooperate. Let me see if I can open up a document real quick and just give you guys the link. That way I don't forget. Here it is right here. Please hold. Um, <laughs> and uh, again, I love this wreath form. All right, I'm putting it in the uh, chat right now for you guys. Oh, wait, where'd my keyboard go? Remember I pushed my keyboard out of the way so I wouldn't. All right, there's the Fetch Rewards link. And the referral code is that F93HT. Thank you guys so much for uh, pimping the fetch rewards with me that are already doing it. I appreciate that. All right. So the infinity wreath form, I had seen those forever on other people's channels, but had never been able to find them at my store. Even as, as great as my channel is, or not, not, I didn't mean to say that as great as my dollar trees are the um, you know, they, they still don't get everything. So I'm still on the lookout. Okay. Um, this is really random. I call this my like utility stuff. And it's um, just kind of stuff you need around the house or in the craft room or whatever. And um, they had this little pocket hand sanitizer, which I like to keep in the car. And so I have that. And then they actually had alcohol. Like you can find peroxide, but I couldn't find alcohol for some reason. I don't know. There's a pandemic or something going on. <laughs> and, uh, so I grabbed two of these. They were only limiting you to two bottles, but um, I didn't need any more than two. It's just me. And uh, Otis doesn't like alcohol, so we're good there. And then um, I bought this because I am kind of addicted to these things. I love these so much. And um, they are great to clean with. And uh, let me see, let me see, let me catch up here. People are saying my mom is cool. Yes, my mom is cool. My mom is like my best friend. I love you, mom. Uh, so, uh, well, hi, Michelle Hawkins. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you popping in and 
being new to the to the fun and to the madness. So that's that. All right. Um, this is a bag that is all over the place. All right. So I've got this bag, and then I've got the really big bag. So many new Crafter Square stuff. Like freaking out that I was able to find so much of it. Um, all right. So um, these are chamois cloths, right? They're microfiber cloths. They're not chamois. They're microfiber cloths. And, uh, you know, okay, for my car, uh -uh. So at Christmas time, I bought these in the summer, as soon as I saw them, you know, car wash season. I used this because it's kind of like a blanket, right? It's super soft. And uh, what I used it for was for fake snow in my Dollar Tree village. And it was great because it's it's super thin and it it like has kind of a, a furrier side and then it has a little smoother side. And what's great about this is that it was really cool for that bow snow. But then I thought if I could get some Easter bunnies and I have some Easter left over, I could cut these and make use these for Easter bunny fur. So that could be coming up in an upcoming DIY. If you don't see it, then you know I messed it up. So that was that. So look in the automotive department. You know, don't be afraid to look outside of the normal home decor and all that. That's another uh, LED set. I did buy just two of these and that's the silver one. I had the copper one also. I have a DIY project coming up that I'm very excited about. I have been looking at these and not buying them in my store until recently. In the party section, they have these oversized blocks. And uh, I bought three packages of them. And they're kind of like kind of like giant Lego pieces, right? And so they um Stasia, don't worry about it if you missed it. Uh, with with Whitney last night. It was um it was good. The chit chat show with Whitney last night was really, really good. And I'll be posting it on Tuesday. So you'll be able to catch it there. And then you'll be able to hopefully catch up. Teresa, you're in Roswell? Well hi Roswell, Georgia or Rossville. Sorry, I think it's Rossville. Um, and then I would love, actually, where are you guys from? So if you put that in the chat, that would be amazing. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, we've got people from Nashville, North Carolina. I had no idea that there was a Nashville, North Carolina. We've got Shelby. So um, Kayla, I'm looking to get a new printer. I'm curious about yours. That's funny. This one here, it's a brother. Um, it's it did not come from the Dollar Tree. It's just black and white. What I love about it, though, is that it has a high yield uh, cartridge. The cartridges for it are about thirty dollars, but it gives me three thousand pages. So, and it's just black and white. You can do back and you know front and back, and you can do Wi-Fi. But yes, I absolutely love that printer. This is the printer that I have in my office at work, and I loved it so much. I got one for home as well. So uh, yeah, that's my printer, which did not come from, wow, Rome, Georgia. Okay, we've got some Georgia, some South Carolinians. We've got some Detroit, some Anderson, some Pennsylvania. Oh, Western New York near Niagara Falls, Amy Z. I went to Niagara Falls last year and it was amazing. Las Vegas, fun, Kansas. I'm pretending that I'm traveling to all these places. Uh, California, Michigan, Louisiana, Western North Carolina, very cool. For the Georgia folks, when all this stuff is over, Flowery Branch, Covington, Conyers, how cool. I'm on the south side near the airport. So I'm not on that I-20 side of like where Conyers is, but I'm I'm closer to the airport. So very cool. But the, the Georgia folks, we should get together and do like a Dollar Tree haul or something like that. So um, these are coming for an upcoming DIY. I'm super excited to experiment with those. And then... Um, these are mini trays, and uh, those are coming for a DIY as well. So Arnoldsville, Georgia. I don't know where Arnoldsville is. Marco Island. I would love to go to Marco Island. Um, my couch is yours. Cat, I don't know if my back would, would do the couch, but I appreciate the offer. We could certainly try it, though. Coastal Georgia, but family and Garden Hill is very cool. All right. The big bag. Let me see if I can get the big bag up here without it. Okay, and something's already busted through the bottom. 
All right. <laughs> like, literally, I just I just pulled this out of the bottom of this bag. Like it looks ridiculous because it it is so full, but I love the big gray bag at Dollar Tree. When they pull out the big gray bag, I'm like, yeah, I love the big gray bag. Um, okay, let me organize stuff. So there's the that's the second sign that I bought. I told you I bought two of those, and uh, you'll probably see some some repeats here. And uh, there's there's no way to do this, so we're just gonna pull it all out. So um, Mug Life, uh, you've already seen these, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, I teased these. But these are the Star Trek socks, the other ones that I got. And um, I have just the regular Star Trek. I have the Captain Kirk, and I have Picard. And then somewhere in here is Spock as well. So pretty fun. Um, a three recliner sofa. Now those can be comfortable because I've actually kicked those back and laid down with them like kick back and it actually kind of creates like a little kind of like a crib. Oh, here's the Spock ones. Cute, right? Very cute. And um, when I've got them, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to tease them. Okay. These are the uh, new part of the new uh, Crafter Square stuff. And um, they are chalkboard stickers. How cool are those? So you can label all your jars, you can label all your plastics, like you could label glass vases. Um, I did make a um, a um, set of uh, like canisters with the Dollar Tree glass vases. I'll give you a couple tips with the glass vases. So if you buy the round uh, glass jar at Dollar Tree that has the lid, and it has the lid with the little rubber like suction thing on it. There's two different versions. So it, it's either one or the other. The lid from that plastic, or from the, the lid from the glass round jar, it's got like a little uh, glass knob on the top of it, fits perfectly on top of the glass cylinder vases from Dollar Tree. Not the fluted ones, but the, the kind of straight ones. Fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. Option two, if you can't find that one or you can't find the one that fits perfectly, if you've heard of wood wick candles, the ones that are about this big that have the wood lid on it, those lids fit perfectly on top of a Dollar Tree cylinder vase. You can make all kinds of stuff with them. Um, I took the glass vase, this was a video I did a while ago, and put a glass candlestick underneath it and did one of those lids and made an apothecary. I think I said it right. Um, apothecary thing with it. And I used some ink, some uh, ink stain to kind of create this really cool effect. And my boss liked them so much, she took them. So um, I need to make more for myself. But uh, back to these. Uh, yeah, I got, I got a two pack and um, I think that they're gonna come in super handy and they're chalkboard. So you can write on them with the chalk pen and then erase whatever. So again, super, super cool. All right, um, sorry I'm rambling. I know I do that from time to time. All right, this one um, is for my grandma and uh, she is a, or she loved butterflies and her favorite color was purple. And I found these die cut butterflies. There's 33 butterflies in a package. So I grabbed two of these because I think it would be really, really cool. Hello, Gwendolyn from Chicago. Um, this is um, something that I thought I would make for my front door or maybe even give it to you, Mom. But um, this is uh, just a bunch of die-cut butterflies. And I thought that if I found a uh, the, the green Dollar Tree wreath form, the one that's kind of the harder styrofoam. By the way, those you can spray paint and you can glue directly on. The, the other kind of foam, the white, you know, Dollar Tree foam forms, they will melt a lot of times if you spray paint them with, um, if you spray paint them. But I found that the green ones actually hold up better. I still give everything a coat of Mod Podge before I spray paint it if it's styrofoam. But um, yeah, you can definitely do it. But these are gonna be cute because I'm gonna make a wreath out of these. So um, let me keep looking, let me keep looking. Uh, just to make sure I'm not missing anything somebody said dang i missed something i'll make sure dang i got a call i missed the rest of the goodies don't worry nats natties and i've got i've got i've still got a big bag here 
of stuff. Um, I'm going to be, this will be posted right after we're done. And then also, by the way, at 1145 today, I have a DIY video that is a bunch of uh, thrift flips. So if you saw my thrift flip from just a couple days ago, where it was a, I mean, it was a thrift haul. It was like a Dollar Tree and Value Village haul. I flipped some of those things. So that will be in that video. Um, okay, back to this. Bandanas. Anytime I see the bandanas, I will grab these because they are cotton and um, they are good for face covering. So I grabbed those. And honestly, I thought that because of this color combo with that white and that blue, they might even make really cool pillows for something. So more to come there. I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. This is almost done. Some of this is going to be duplicates because I've screwed up some other projects and I had to rebuy some things. But um, home sign. Um, again, this one is a newer item from Dollar Tree. And what I love about this is that, let me see if I can get in here. My scissors. Um, it's, it's like raised lettering. I don't know if you can see that or not. But um, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely a cool sign. And it is wood. They had one that was open at the store. So I was able to kind of scope it out. And uh, what I really loved about it is, see all these tabs? You can just bend these tabs and look, this sucker all comes out. How cool. You can totally DIY that very, very easily. It's certainly cute enough to leave alone and not do anything to it. But it is kind of like a picture frame. And I'll be honest, now that I'm looking at this and really looking at it, I had an idea just go. And now I'm like, okay, I need to go back and buy like 17 of these. So um, yeah, more to come there. I may actually go to Dollar Tree as soon as we're done with this video. <laughs> um, stencils, they had these great stencils. I love these larger stencils. And uh, if you guys have heard of a Scorch pen, if you've not heard of it, get one. It's brand new that to me anyway, I've never heard of a scorch pen. And um, the, the like, uh, the um, scorch pens are pens that have some sort of liquid in it and it reacts to heat. So like you could take a stencil and I could like say, get a piece of wood and write out Jamie with pen. And it, it just kind of dyes it just a little bit. And then you take your heat gun or a blow dryer and you, put heat to it and it reacts that chemical that's in the scorch pen. And it actually looks like you've wood burned something. Um, I bought two scorch pens on Amazon. They were $10 a piece. And uh, I'm going to play around with that. I think it was Courtney from creative on the cheap who um, discovered those or who I discovered those from. All right. Uh, back to, back to the stuff. I love Sharpies. I write with Sharpies all the time. And Dollar Tree is carrying Sharpies now. They had the fine print and then they had the ultra fine print. And, uh, or fine point, I guess it is. So I grabbed that. Um, these are shoe lights that are, um, I guess, for your shoes. And, uh, you know, for walking at night, I bought two that are the same color since I have two feet. And uh, I thought that, um, I don't know if they go around your ankle or or what? If you guys know, tell me, because I have no clue. I'm going to put them around my ankle and uh, hope that a car doesn't hit my big butt when I'm walking around, because uh, it's time to uh, get focused back on my fitness. Uh, these were another... Oh, no! No, I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Hang on. Gotta love live TV. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Um, these are stickers. And their leaves. I thought that these were super cool as well, and something that could definitely be used for a DIY project. Um, I'm kind of thinking, like, even um, have you guys seen those Dollar Tree um, in the Crafter Square, the frames that they have? And they have frames that are square, and they have some that are circle, let's circle, or heart shaped. And I thought if you spray painted them a metallic silver, and then you added these leaves to it, that could be a really cute DIY that wouldn't cost you anything. And um, I thought that that could be fun. This was something that I thought was super cute. Um, this little silver or kind of metal, metal truck from Crafter Square. They also had the tailgate of the truck 
And um, it was super cute. And yeah, Amy, they are feathers. Did I call them something else? Maybe I called them leaves. Yeah. I do that sometimes. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that sometimes I will call, like, I'll be like, oh, these great leaves or these great feathers. Yeah, I think they're feathers. I think they're feathers. See? They're feathers. I think. Yeah, they're feathers. Definitely feathers. All right, back, back on track. So the little truck, I thought it would be cute. I honestly thought that maybe I could do a DIY with this as well, maybe put in the center of a wreath form or something. Again, something cute. Then uh, they did have the kind of the tailgate side of the truck, so the back end of the truck, which was also super cute. I didn't buy that one, though. I don't, I don't really need it. That's the fine point, fine point Sharpie, the ultra fine. And, uh, again, I just love working with them. Um, trying to hurry. So this is actually for a maybe, maybe for a friend of mine. I don't know if she'll, she'll like it or not. But she has a dog that is like this. And it's just a little coat hook. I thought it could be really cute for, um, you know, for like a, uh, for the leash or something. So um, I don't know. We'll see. I may end up, I may end up keeping it and just doing a DIY or something like that. Uh, they, Dollar Tree has some really cute, like little trinket trays and stuff. And uh, they had this one that I thought was really, really cute. And it just says bits and baubles. And it kind of has that, uh, What's that font that everybody is so obsessed with right now? Um, but uh, I thought it was really cute. And uh, what is that font called? Somebody tell me what that font is called. It's like it's like somebody's name. And um, again, thought it was really cute. Pam, I missed what was going on, but uh, I'm seeing that people are saying prayers for you. So I'm throwing up some prayers as well. And um, hope that everything is okay. Yes, it's Ray Dunn. That's who I was thinking about. Um, so there's that. And then um, let's see what else, what else. I'm almost done, actually. Um, I always grab these anytime I can see them because, you know, there's going to be a time when you're not going to be able to get them. The wood blocks from Dollar Tree. I have some DIY ideas. I think that would work. They might be a little too big, but we'll see. Uh, I am working on a really cool um, idea. I think it's going to work out. And I needed some frames for that. So this is from that, or this is for that, I should say. These are kind of cool though looking. Check those out. I bought these because if the DIY doesn't work, then I can use the frame. It's hard to see. I actually have one that's open because I was playing around with the glass. Um, but see that print? It almost looks like it's a like an alligator skin or an animal skin or something. I think it's just really cool. I love the texture on it. I really love the silver on it. Um, it would look really good with a picture in there, but uh, not not like that though. But <laughs> uh, again, something cool, something that I thought could be very fun. Hi, Wimato, how are you? Uh, joining from the UK, that's cool. It must be very early there or very late. I'm not sure which it would be. Um, all right, I always see this sign every time I'm at Dollar Tree. I never pick it up, but for some reason this time I picked it up. I think I'm just gonna strip it down and just spray paint it or paint it brown and just have a, a brown bear. And I may take my Cricut and put something like Wanderlust or Grr or I don't know, something like that on the front. We'll see. Um, so there's that. And then, um, so if you guys saw, Crafter Square has the galvanized numbers and they're little packages kind of like this that are the numbers. Well, they actually are carrying the letters now as well. Here's a tip for you though. See that? I only grabbed one package originally. This is only A through M. So I would have been real mad when I got home and realized that there was nothing past an M. So then I also picked up the, the N through the Z. So if you grab these or if you see these, be sure to grab enough that you have the entire alphabet. So um, you've got A through M and then you've got N through Z right here. So that's another thing I realized. Um, more Sharpie pens. I told you I love them. They only had black and blue. Um, and then I apparently bought a third set. I didn't think I bought three of them, but that means I don't have, oh no. Okay. I bought two of each. So there's the other one. And then uh, this is just to keep my, my mouth clean and fresh. I love the Dollar Tree mouthwash. And then um, I grabbed some of these scissors 
that um, have the um, kind of jagged edge, or I don't know what they're called, the sawtooth shape. Uh, because again, fun for scrapbooking and paper and stuff. Not, I'm not doing scrapbooking, but um, I thought for some fabrics or something like that, it could be very cool. And uh, Marissa, hi, or Maria, I'm sorry. Hi, it's your first time here, welcome. And then uh, they have something brand new at Dollar Tree, that I, brand new for me anyway, that I had not seen before. And they are glass stickers. So they're, they're stickers that are, I guess, formulated for, I don't know if formulated, that sounds a little too like fancy for Dollar Tree, <laughs> but um, they're glass stickers. And like here, it's kind of like a mason jar and these all individually peel off. So if you had, um, you'll see in the DIY video actually that's gonna run today, um, I created a hanging kind of plant bang with a mason jar. And um, these would be really cute on there. This one was a little large. I liked this one the best, but it was a little large for the mason jar. But uh, super cute, new at Crafter Square. And then they also had this pattern, which again, I thought was super cute. What's cool about these two is that these are all individual. So like, this is a strip, that's a strip, that's a strip, that one is a strip, and that one is a strip. So you don't have to use this entire thing on one jar if you don't want those. And uh, you know, they're they're super, super, super cool. And then the other thing that I grabbed or the other ones that I grabbed was this pattern, kind of that scalloped, again, thinking it's super, super cool and super cute. And um, that is it. That is the Dollar Tree haul. I have, oh wait, I have one thing that I dropped. It's just a phone pop holder. I'll be honest though, I'm I'm scared to use it because I don't want it to to pop off. I just got this new phone. <laughs> I don't, I, it's like the 12 Pro Max and it's got the great camera on it. And I, this is how I film all of my videos most of the time. I'm using my web, webcam right now actually, but this is usually how I film all my videos and um, I edit and everything on my phone. So I can't, I can't. Uh, I have to take care of it. I, to, I can't drop it. Um, all right. So that is my haul. Um, one receipt was right around uh, $65. And then the other receipt, because I did go to two different stores, um, was around $45. There are a few things too that I bought that um, like I, I will buy some food related things there. I'll buy like some spices. I'll buy some... Um, Soap. Sometimes I'll buy like some dishwashing liquid, and I don't. I don't really share those when I do a haul. But um, yeah, Mug Life. That's actually a good idea to test it. Um, so if um, if you guys have questions for me, please go ahead and ask because uh, we've still got quite a few people on here, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. I am. Um, I'm a I'm a crafter. For those of you that know me or don't know me, I should say. Um, I'm also a television and film actor. I was on The Resident uh, season two on Fox. I was on Halt and Catch Fire on AMC Networks. I did a show on CBS called The Inspectors. And uh, if you go to IMDb, type in my name, Jamie Miles, you can find me there. Um, I'm still a full-time actor, still a full-time crafter. And then I also work in the reality TV kind of side of life. And um, I have a chit chat show. And uh, the Chit Chat Show is a show for um, creators like yourselves, whether you're doing YouTube or whether you're not doing YouTube or whether you're just a fan. Um, I interview other crafting kind of celebrities, I call them. And um, people like Megan from Glue Guns and Roses was on last season. There Jane from Chic on the Cheap. I had Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. I had Nicole from The Week's Nest. I had Shannon, The Daily DIYer. Coming up, we've got uh, Last Night Was Whiskey and Wit. Um, I've got um, Kristen K coming up. I've got Bargain Bethany coming up. I've got Sarah Jane coming up because April is my birthday. And Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap is actually going to interview me. And uh, that will be fun. And then I'm working on a few other folks as well. Some some HGTV folks that we've had on in the past might be coming back. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, so let me see if we have any questions. Um, 
So Mary, I've already made one video of Easter crafts. It's It launched last week. So it's up on my channel now. And then I'll, I'll do some random ones kind of here and there. Um, the I really love Christmas and fall. Those are my favorite for holiday DIYs. So I don't really do a lot of um, kind of main holiday stuff during the year. I do some of it, but not, not a ton of it. Um, let me see. Uh, Viv Mato, yes, I will be uh, posting this on YouTube as soon as this is over. Uh, well, I have a new video premiering at 11.45, which is a DIY video. So maybe it'll premiere after that. That way they're not competing with each other. But um, so Kelly Williams, what app am I using to film? I use the regular video app on the iPhone. And then to edit, I use um, iMovie. And then for my thumbnails, I use PicMonkey, but I use PicMonkey.com versus the app. I, don't, I personally don't like the app. And then for editing, I use the app of iMovie versus going to the download version of iMovie on my computer. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's see. Who else has questions? Uh by the way, you're right about the chili sauce, the Thai-based one. Oh, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. It's hard to find. And if you can also, in the frozen food section, find those little mini egg rolls. Um, I have some in the freezer, actually. There's like 12 to a pack. They're so good with that chili sauce. So whenever, And they're, they're vegetable, too, so they're vegetarian. And uh, I assume, anyway. But um, I will serve those at a party almost every time I have one, you know, back when like we could have parties and um, they're always great because you have, you know, a friend that's a vegetarian or just doesn't want to eat meat. Then there's some options for them and they're really, really good. Um, do you post your chit chat show videos after they air? I do. Oh, Crystal, you work at Dollar Tree. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, Crystal, there's actually a playlist on my um, channel that is a chit chat show playlist and it has all of the old shows. And then as the new ones come out, I add them there as well. But I've had AV Perkins from HGTV Handmade. I had the Crafty Lumberjacks. Um, I'm going to have Indiana Jones. I want the Mug Life. Like it's not for just people that have, you know, 300,000 subscribers. I'm going all over the board. I'm at like 20 some thousand, 23,000, I think. Whitney from Whiskey and Wit last night was on. She is 60,000. So we're going to be ranging and going up and down with folks. So I'm excited about those. Um, is it is it Ar Arshley? Sorry if I'm butchering that. But uh, just started watching. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Um, Charlotte, the frozen food. Uh, the frozen fruit for the smoothies is definitely really good. I don't like the berry one though. There's a lot of seeds in that, but like the mango pineapple kind of one is, is definitely cool. Um, Valerie, I bought the pesto the last time I was there, but I have not used it yet. So um, Kim, I would also spend my check at Dollar Tree. Um, so Mary, will you be making any DIYs for a vegetable garden? So I don't have a veg. I, I have space for a vegetable garden. I don't have a vegetable garden, but I always do a stackable herb garden. And um, I have bought some of those stacking herb plants previously at a, at an old hall. And um, so those will be the plan. And I have some fun, like uh, plans for like a little, either a gnome village or a, um, I have some little garden stakes that have, you know, spaces where you can write what the herbs are. So I'm, I'm toying with the idea. And then I always have my front porch. If you guys know my house, I love my front porch. And it went through a huge little reno not too long ago. I tore down all of the, my house is 100 years old. And I had the original awnings from the outside of the house. I took all those down. I put up shutters. We built a pergola over the front porch. And um, it's just brightened up everything. I can't paint the front porch pergola yet because it's still too cold. But yeah, there will definitely be a spring front porch DIY coming for sure. Um, let's see. Let's see. Jenna, your teen loves the burritos. That's funny. I like them as well. Um, I would like to see ideas to put in that area between your cabinet top and the ceiling. Oh, Kim, for like over above the kitchen. It's funny. I'm going to be redoing my 
well, not redoing my kitchen, but I'm, I've got a collaboration coming up with wall pops and I'm going to be doing my backsplash in the kitchen. So um, my kitchen counters go, or my cabinets go all the way to the ceiling, but I do have some open shelving and uh, maybe some of the open shelving will give you an idea. I think I'm going to actually take everything off the shelving in the kitchen and just do like a, you know, a refresh. I like to do like, I call it like knickknack palooza. <laughs> and I literally take my coffee table. I move it out from in front of my couch. I take every single knickknack in the entire house uh, off of wherever they are. And I put them in the living room on the floor in front of the couch. And then I have all these empty shelves, my mantle, my fireplace, everything is empty. And then I literally go and go, okay, what do I want on the mantle? And I grab something new. I don't put the same thing back on the mantle. At least I, I love the way my mantle looks right now. So it's been that way for a while, but um, I may do that in the kitchen where I just take everything, all the knickknacks, put them all on the floor in the dining room or in the living room, and then just start putting fresh knickknacks everywhere. It's a good time to dust everything. It's a good time to clean everything. And it kind of gives you like a new, you know, a new feeling in your house. Um, oh, I have a really cool, really, really cool video coming up too. Um, Next week, it's gonna it's gonna air on Saturday. Um, I try to stack videos up so you guys have them, and um, I can I can still be doing other projects and and work and creating stuff in between. Um, my friend Kelly and I found a metal recycling center that's here in town, and they go around and pick up people's scrap metal. So like if you have like a bulk trash day or something like that, and people are throwing away metal furniture or metal cabinets or filing cabinets or whatever, they will pick it up and they take it and they recycle it. But if they find stuff that they think is really cool and they want to sell, they will sell it in this little online store that they have, or not an online store, I'm sorry. They'll sell it in this store that they have that's on site. And it, it's like this, a small office and it's just filled. Like there were bicycles, there were knickknacks, there were wine racks, there were chairs and side tables. And I got stuff that was so cheap. So that one is a fun one. I'm excited about that one. And it's in this uh, like East Point, Hapeville kind of side of town. And I included the link and everything for it and the address so you guys can check it out if you are local to the area. Um, so let's go back. Um, so Melissa, check out wall pops, but check them out after I do my video, because there's probably going to be some sort of discount code or something. They're kind of like the peel and stick, but not the ones from Dollar Tree. These are actually better. And, um, I'm excited about it. I'm definitely a little nervous about it, but I'm excited about it. Um, Mug Life, I'm not sure if you're talking to me about recording something or somebody else. Hi, Tracy from Waco. You're late, but that's okay. I, um, I'm i going to repost this after. I'm probably going to post this late this afternoon because I have a new video that's going to be premiering at 11.45. And uh, I may actually change it to 11.30 or something. I don't know. But um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Who else, who else? Have you all, Jan is asking me, have I always loved to craft or what got you into it? Your ideas are wonderful. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So um, the crafting kind of came not, not by mistake or surprise. So my mom is great with crafting. She makes great, beautiful floral arrangements. She's always had a house that was nicely decorated. She's got, she loves her knickknacks just like I do. And um, she, um, so I give some of that credit to her for sure. My sister is really good at crafting. My sister is an amazing artist, painting, gorgeous paintings. And um, she also makes like paper and makes her own cards. And um, I loved Dollar Tree, but would never like go to this extent with Dollar Tree. And uh, I started following a Dollar Tree crafting page on Facebook. And then I would see people make stuff and I would think, I should try that. I should try that. I should do that. And uh, I did. And I just started having fun with it. And then people would, um, you know, would be like, oh, you should post this. You should create a video. You should do this. You should do that. 
And so I, I finally just kind of did it. And if you look like to the earlier videos on my channel, you can see it was a lot of shopping hauls because I was kind of like nervous about doing a, an actual DIY video. And then I finally did it. And, you know, I've learned along the way, um, great people like Megan from Glue Guns and Roses and Sarah Jane and other folks. And um, I dropped my receipt, let me grab that. But um, they gave me lots of great tips along the way. And honestly, that's what inspired me to, um, to kind of do the chit chat show because I wanted to share information and that's what a lot of the creators do. If you're thinking about creating a channel or, you know, you're not really sure you should definitely, definitely do it. Um, so somebody asked about red tape with, uh, I, I've got my mouse here buried. So I think it was about red tape with the renovations. Have you had red tape doing renovations? Charles, Charleston is strict. So the pergola is, considered um aesthetic it's it wasn't structural so i didn't have any issues at all i checked the code we did everything we were supposed to do um i had a friend that helped me with that and uh yeah i had everything fine so there was no um restrictions i used to live in charleston actually i went to college in charleston so i i totally understand it um i live downtown on lockwood and broad in a building called sergeant jasper which i think is still there but it's probably been renovated or something um so i added up my recipe from dollar tree for a year or your receipts uh wow sixteen thousand. that's probably i'm probably close to that uh i have to do my taxes uh soon so thank god i have an accountant let me see jamie record yourself doing that decor refresh oh yeah i may actually do that i so i am doing a living room uh, refresh. And it's kind of like a work in progress. My, I ordered some furniture, like I call it my first adult furniture, like custom made and like it's being made for me and it's not going to be delivered till June. <laughs> so I have to wait until June, but it's, um, it's coming and, uh, I'll definitely do one then because it's going to be different. Um, did you get to do the pergola Jenna? Uh, yeah, I did actually. And there's a video out up there of my front porch kind of before and after and, uh, the front of the house. It looks so, so different. Um, I think I can show it to you, not show you the video, but show you some pictures at least of what the house looks like now. So this is what the house looks like now. My house is actually bigger than it looks. And um, like, that's what it looks like now. You can see the pergola is not painted yet because it is um, cold and you can't paint pressure treated lumber when you're doing that. But the before of it, let me see if I can find that real quickly. I have a, <coughs> excuse me. I have an album here of my house prior to, um, prior to doing some renovations and um, I've done some different stuff along the way. Um, so this is what the house looked like before I did the, the pergola. So that's what it looked like with the, um, with the awnings, definitely still very cute. Now this is a real estate photo. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a little enhanced, but uh, yeah, I love my little house and it, um, it's been great. And my mommy and daddy helped me get it. So I appreciate them for that. Um, so faithful, creative, quirky. Will you see me in any upcoming shows? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I'm definitely auditioning. I had an audition actually this morning and it's been my third one for the week. So I'm still an actor, still actively working and, and doing stuff. Um, there are some, some reruns of certain shows that are airing right now. Um, Discovery Channel has a ton of stuff that, uh, two shows that I'm in that are re-airing right now. Um, so let me see, let me see. Jamie, loving all seasons. You're afraid of doing DIYs on your channel. So uh, you do a lot of decorating in halls. You know what, Jamie? I say go for it. Do it. If you're getting the views and stuff from the decorating in the halls, go for it. Don't even worry about it. If you want to do a DIY, I mean, decorating is a form of a DIY. So if you have a bookshelf and you're refreshing the bookshelf, set up a tripod and just do it. You know, you can edit it. You can voice over it. You can chop it up. You can do it. Have fun with it. 
Um, Naomi, you're asking me what part of Georgia. So I'm on the south side um, near the airport. So I'm in kind of like that College Park, East Point, um, Hapeville area, kind of like that Tri-Cities area. Um, Carol, thank you. I think my house is pretty too. I love it. Um, hey, Amy, first time catching me live. I did the, the Dollar Tree haul already, but um, that's okay because it's going to be posted. And uh, I have a video that's posting at 11.45. It's a DIY video of some home decor stuff. And um, including the clock that nobody wanted me to redo, I did it. And um, <laughs> so there's that that's coming out. And um, Jackie is asking me, how do I juggle doing so many things? Well, I'm single, so I only have to report to me and my cat. And uh, a lot of times my house is destroyed on the inside. And uh, I just I just do what I need to do. I mean, I have a full-time job as well. And then I'm a full-time actor. And then I'm doing this as well, which I would say is definitely full-time. And, uh, you know, I just do it. I think when you love what you're doing, it's pretty easy to just kind of keep motivated and to keep going with stuff. Um, Mopar. Oh, hi, Mopar. I didn't see you when you joined earlier. Um, have you tried painting anything with acrylic paint and baking soda? So I didn't do that yet, but I did a, um, and I did it a while back. I took some um, caulking from Dollar Tree and I covered uh, Dollar Tree vases with it. And um, then I put it out in the sun and I let it harden and dry. And then I spray painted over top of it and it worked out great. And what I did for the texture is so, you know, how when you're putting like caulking in, usually you just kind of smooth it out on the grout lines or whatever. I took it and I took a fork and like, you know, drew lines in it or used my fingers and kind of dabbed it to create like a little pattern. And then I spray painted on top of that. And it worked very similar to the baking soda trend that I'm kind of seeing people do now. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I would like to. I, I think it would be fun to do it. I just have to figure out what to um, what to do it. So Val, how often do you do these live shows? Like this Dollar Tree haul, this is honestly the first one that I've done. Uh, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses was like, you should try doing that. So I did. Usually I do a weekly haul, a shopping haul of some kind that I post on Saturdays. And um, I just decided this one I was going to do live. And uh, I didn't know how it would, um, how it would do. So um, I tried that. So Misty is asking me what kind of movies I'm in. Um, Misty, I've only done, uh, well, I've done a couple films, but the the main one I did with an actor named Jeremy Irons and another guy named Ben Schwartz, and it was called, um, God, what was it called? I can't remember. Um, let me look it up on IMDb. <laughs> um, so that was the only movie that I did, and then I did um, I do more TV than anything, and um, my television stuff. Um, I did The Resident on Fox season two. Um, it was an episode called Emergency Contact. I did a show on AMC Networks called Halt and Catch Fire. Um, I did a show on CBS called The Inspectors. I did a couple shows on Discovery. One was called Dead Silent and the other one was called um, Swamp Murders. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I did those. Um, let me see. I, I can't believe I forgot the name of that movie. Oh, I did Watchmen on HBO. Um, I did a movie called Before Now that was, um, it's kind of like making the film, like the, the film festival circuit right now. Oh, An Actor Prepares. That was the name of the movie with Jeremy Irons and, and Ben Schwartz. Um, so yeah, I mean, I haven't done a, a ton of stuff. I did Survivor's Remorse on Stars. Um, I did a movie called Jailbait, where I played two different roles in that one, a um, movie called Free Pass. So, yeah, I've got about 20-something, 20 22 credits or something like that. And um, hopefully one of these recent ones that I just auditioned for will keep coming back. Um, you know, I, this is the live um, – hi, Sharon. Uh, this is the live of the hall, and if you guys are enjoying that, then I'll definitely consider doing more of these. And um, the other thing that I do, which is it's not, you can be on the live is the chit chat show. So if you want to talk to like some of your crafting fans or um, 
you know, talk to other crafters or creators. There's a couple people on here that I've been in the audience before. Oh, there's my friend. Hi. I always call it Vilro, but V-L-R-O. That way everybody else knows who you are. <laughs> but uh, there's, um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. And uh, I like doing the lives and I love doing the chit chat show because it's just a fun way to get to know other creators and other folks and, you know, you have a good time with it. So um, who else? Any other questions before we go? Because my uh, DIY video is going to premiere at 1130. And um, that is a kind of an incorporation. There's some thrifted items. There's some Dollar Tree items. And uh, I just kind of created three, three or four. I don't remember how many there are. Three or four different projects. So that is coming up. and. Um, let me see. Marcella, how did you get into TV shows or movies? So I first thought I was going to be like a Food Network kind of person. And I had like a little access show that was in Alabama. <laughs> and uh, it was like a little cooking show. It was called The Cooking Show. And I was really just more like a guest not even a chef, because I'm, I'm not a chef, a guest cook, I guess. And so I went out for some Food Network casting calls and stuff, and, you know, nothing nothing kind of came of that. And then um, the television film industry here in Atlanta is huge. It's, it's almost as busy as Los Angeles and Hollywood, and maybe even busier. And um, there were a lot of background actors, they call them extras, that were doing castings and stuff. And so I would just go out and do those. And, you know, it's the non-speaking roles and things. And then as I did those more and more, I wanted to experiment with actual talking and having lines. And uh, I studied, I went to class and uh, I took TV film classes and did all that. And then uh, I was able to get an agent who um, was amazing. I was with her for eight years and um, I switched agencies after the eight years. And, uh, you know, that was, that was tough because I had been with her for so long. She was wonderful. And, um, I ended up switching to another agency and, uh, within a month of being there, I booked the HBO show and then I booked the resident not too long after that. And then I've, I've worked on like some home Depot commercials and industrials and different things like that. So, you know, it's just kind of, uh, kind of did that kind of stuff. And, uh, that's kind of how it's been, but, as a, I think all of you guys can relate to this because you're all creative people. You're doing crafting, you're making things. When you're a creative person, you have to have a creative outlet. You just can't, like I can never just depend on acting because I'm not on set enough to fulfill that creative need. And that's really where I started crafting and creating that way because it kind of fills that void and it gives me the chance to interact and do things like this with you guys. But then it's also just fun. And um, I bought a house, and went from a one bedroom condo to a four bedroom house and uh, I needed to decorate it. And DIYs was the most effective way to do it and the most cost effective way to do it. And um, I, I did my kitchen. I did um, the front porch. I'm working on possibly doing something with the wall that's here in the kitchen and expanding it. Um, I have a front porch. Somebody commented too about this stuff in the background. So I just want to let you know, all of this is like, so this, first of all, was in the dumpster. So that was free. That was free. It's got three little bins there. And um, that's where I keep like my resume and my headshots and stuff. And then this was a gift from my sister. This came from a store called Old Time Pottery. And I love that. This is an Ikea box that's called the Mape, M-O-P-P-E. And it actually is like that. So the drawers on it, it's unfinished wood. And the drawers, of course, that won't go in all look like that. And so all I did was add the hardware on the front. I bought the hardware on Amazon. It looks like they're screwed in, but they're actually glued on. I just glued the screws in there as well to make it look like it was glued on or to make it look like it was screwed on. And then that's where I keep all my thumbtacks and receipts and different stuff. And then this vase was originally kind of a clear, you can kind of see it 
a little bit and I sprayed it with a uh, looking glass spray. And then I added that plant from Ikea. And then that stuff is just like, that's from Pop Shelf. This is a DIY that I did. I literally took one of those Dollar Tree succulents and just wrapped it in this rope to give it a better high-end look. And um, I, I love the way it turned out, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna go because my DIY video is premiering at 11.30. And again, it's just some thrifted stuff and different things. And uh, and then this live, for those of you that missed it or turned in, tuned in later, will be airing probably tomorrow. I want I want today's video to have some, some life. And so, um, or actually, I think this will start airing as soon as I end the stream. But anyway, watch them both. And uh, hopefully you will... Uh, come back. If you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe. Remember about fetch rewards and scanning your receipts because you literally can save. You don't save money. I'm going to put it back in the chat thing here. But what's cool about fetch rewards is like literally you get paid to shop. So you go and you shop and you find all this stuff and then you just get, you can redeem points for gift cards. And, uh, it's a great thing. And if you use my code and you scan your first receipt, you'll get, I think, 2,000 points right off the bat. So that's great. And then somebody said something about my, my resume. What was that? Um, your resume is all listed, easy to find. Can't wait to find more of your entertainment. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Jackie. You can see the demo reel on there, too. If you go to the imdb.com and put in my name, it has my demo reel up there. And that'll give you all the clips from the shows that I've been on. Not all of them, because you can only your demo reel should only be like a minute long. But um, the more recent ones are there anyway. And um, all right, guys, I am out. Thank you so much for joining. There was more people here than I thought that would be. And um, if you guys enjoyed this, I can definitely consider doing future hauls. I have some that are already kind of scheduled in the on the site. So they um, those some upcoming ones will not be lives, but I definitely could do more lives if you guys think that they're fun. So take care, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to get going. Enjoy your day. Hopefully it is nice weather where you're at, or at least you're inside and safe and have electricity. Uh, prayers and thoughts to everybody out in Texas right now that's dealing with still that cold snow. And they may have electric now, but I know that water pipes are still bursting and everything. It is a mess. So um, definitely, definitely, you know, prayers out there. Um, somebody's asking me one more question. In their time between a career change, spark me, the creative stifle of my hands. Oh yeah, Jenna, that's cool. Jenna, I'm glad that you found the, the community. That's kind of similar to me. You know, I didn't, I didn't know about YouTube and crafting until some of the YouTube or some of the uh, Facebook stuff. So yeah. All right, guys, take care. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. All right. Bye. Check out my video at 1130. Bye, everyone.